What is up everybody? Marky here and today I wanted to go through all of the content that was released in Wave 5 for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and also go over some version 2.4 patch notes that they have because I think there would, will be some changes that might interest people. Now to get the DLC you can either purchase it from the online store or you can also be a subscriber to the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pass, which is what I am currently subscribed to. So that is how I am getting this DLC. But I'll go through everything, and if it's worth it to you, then I would definitely consider, you know, subscribing to the Switch Online or, or purchasing the DLC, because I think they added some cool things. So let's get right into it. So if I go to single player and go to Grand Prix, we can see that there are three new characters. Petey Piranha, he looks really great. Um, Wiggler, <laughs> a really silly one, and I think he looks good in this game too. And finally, Kamek, who uh, you know I'm definitely would be excited to play as well. So these three new characters were added. Um, I'm wondering if I can see some of their stats. So let's go into the. So let's. So this is obviously Petey Piranha is obviously a heavier character. So the speed and weight uh, for his for his character is going to be a little quicker than than usual. Um, so heavy character right here, definitely. Uh, I wonder what Wiggler is. I assume he's probably maybe a heavier character as well. It also depends on what the loadout I have currently. Um, you know that I, You know that the that makes a difference. So Wiggler. Looks like he's a heavier character as well. And then Kamek, I assume he's like medium? Yeah, I would say he's a, a medium, maybe not a heavier heavier character. But these are the three new characters that have been added. Uh, obviously all from past games, and we're still waiting on the two extra DLC characters. Definitely comment down below on your thoughts of who those characters might be. So we get three new characters. I don't, we didn't get any cart updates, which is too bad. It would have been nice to get some cart updates. But what we did get is also two new cups that added eight new courses. So we get Athens Das, Daisy Cruiser, Moon View, Hi Moon View Highway, Squeaky Clean Spirit, and that is all a part of the Feather Cup. So very interesting here. Obviously, I haven't played this one yet, but definitely excited to get into it. And then we also have the Cherry Cup, which includes Los Angeles Laps, Sunset Wilds, Koopa Cave, Vancouver Velocity is that last one. And again, that's the Cherry Cup. So the interesting thing is there's a lot of... So the Squeaky Clean Sprint looks like that's a brand new course. We have three uh, tracks from Tour, two from Wii, one from GameCube, which I'm excited to get into, the Daisy Cruiser one. And then one from Game Boy Advance, Sunset Wilds. So some really great uh, track diversity here from different games. Obviously, leaning heavily towards the tour. It's like they want you to play tour or something. I don't know. But um, this is all very interesting. I'm excited to try out these tracks. The GameCube one, uh, the Wii one, Game Boy Advance ones. You know, those are going to be nostalgic for me. So I'm excited to take a look at those. And then again, going back, we have those three new characters, Kamek, Wiggler, and Petey Piranha. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is the version, because um, version 2.4 did some things. And one thing I definitely want to talk about is in a patch note, as I go back to the, the homepage here, there are pr improved the performance of some characters and vehicle customizations. Um... They, they did some different things with uh, red shell warnings, blue shell warnings. Um, I'm, I'm taking a look here. Um, lowered the appearance rate of mirror 200 races in worldwide regional settings, so when you go online. But that the biggest thing, I think, and they also adjusted the invincibility time of some characters. But that improved performance of some characters and vehicle customizations, it's going to be really interesting to see. You know what, let me go back here. Because what that what I think they're saying is that for all of these characters, they tweaked them a little bit, so now they did that for the last wave, and now they've done it again. So we might be seeing, you know, when you're going online, originally a lot of people were using Waluigi. Uh, I think now a lot of people have been using Rosalina. Not baby Rosalina, the real Rosalina. 
uh, up here. And what I'm thinking now is that maybe some people might be, with these tweaks and adjustments, maybe they tweaked it so, you know, Piri, Petey Piranha is faster or Wiggler is faster, Kamek. But we'll be seeing different characters being used online, the most meta. So that's going to be really interesting to see how that all shakes out. What is the most viable carts, cart combinations, character combinations. But uh, definitely excited to get into this new wave 5 dlc update and i hope you guys are too comment down below if you're going to try this out if you're subscribed to the expansion pack so you automatically have it or if you're thinking about getting the dlc on the fans and these three new characters have really excited you you know definitely let me know uh, if i go back um to the home page here i i think there's one more uh dlc update so i'll definitely go through that but um you know, I think everything that they've added to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is very exciting, and I think it's uh, really interesting. So, um, like I said, definitely definitely happy to, to get into this one. So, let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, you know, maybe I'll upload a video of some really good card combinations that they've came out with, or, uh, you know, re reviewing the tracks. You know, let me know some video ideas down below, and I hope you guys have a great day rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one, guys. Peace.